After years of controversy and now weeks of strong pushback from sponsors, the Washington Redskins will retire its name and logo. It's a move that many expected, but not everyone is embracing. Our 10 sports team is working for you tonight to break down what this means. Eric Appy. All right, Lindsay and John, a couple of key points moving forward. First, we now know what the nickname and logo won't be, but we don't know what it will be changed to yet. So the Beltway is certainly buzzing today about the possibilities. And Eric is about to chronicle this issue not new. It was going on during Watergate when I was a kid. Eric, I unfortunately have just dated myself. Take it away. True, but hey, you make a great point there, Abby. This is something that we're used to seeing that comes up each and every year. And really, at this point, when social justice movements have been happening across the country, it quickly became a matter of not if, but rather when change would come. Washington's nickname has been under scrutiny for decades. Originally, the Braves, the franchise became the Redskins in 1933. And what then owner George Preston Marshall said was a move to avoid confusion with Boston's National League baseball team. After receiving a trademark in the late 60s, Native American leaders asked for the Redskins to change the name as early as 1972. Ironically, that's the same year that the Redskins' Indian head logo debuted on helmets. In 1999, Daniel Snyder became the owner and made a vow to, quote, never change the name. Ever since, Native Americans have constantly challenged the Redskins' trademarks in an attempt to shed light on what they deem as an offensive term. With the recent social uprising following the death of George Floyd, the pressure was mounting and change was inevitable, particularly when money became a factor. With companies such as FedEx threatening to remove sponsorship from the team, Snyder was urged to at least consider a change. After 87 years of bearing a name and logo that many saw was past due, leaving fans with mixed reactions. It's always been there and it's... I don't think it's right to change it. I probably bet that they do change the name. Get used to a new name, get used to a new culture, it's going to be hard for me. Now, in a statement that the team released today, not only did they mention the retiring of the name and logo, they also said that Dan Snyder and first-year head coach Ron Rivera are working on a name and design that will enhance the franchise's tradition and inspire sponsors, fans, and the community for the next 100 years. We've heard a lot about this in terms of Rivera working right with Daniel Snyder on exactly what is the next name and logo that the team will take on. Well, Rivera certainly has a fresh perspective on the situation, but he's not new to the NFL, and it's early in the process. But Warriors and Red Wolves are a couple of ideas getting some mileage right now. Also, Red Tails with a nod to the military history. 